physical body. So you're getting sucked into this soul trap and you're gonna be birthed all over with your memories erased and have to do it all over again. Starting back at zero, hopefully the adults around you have enough intelligence to raise you properly. Don't sell you to some human trafficking, child murdering, cult of death, MK Ultra brainwashing to conform you so they can harvest your soul energy again. They birth bond your soul, they steal your equity, you're worth more dead than alive. They publish your capital letter name as proof of death and then they loot your account. Every American citizen's worth a million or two million dollars, whatever they assign to your birth bond. And they use you for 50 years. They get you to build the cars, to pave the roads, to create the infrastructure that they use. They live off of your equity and lie to you about everything. Globe Earth, pseudoscience. You know, everything they tell you is just half truth. Just enough so that you can function and be a useful idiot all the way to your grave. They know you're gonna die. They know you're on a flat earth plane. The United Nations logo is a flat earth map. They're telling you, they know it's a flat earth map. Uh-huh. And then they give you global earth in school. The, the entire education system is designed to indoctrinate you. The Rockefeller Foundation has paid to have information removed. Nothing in your library but lies. Like your life sick. Is. Everybody's so sick. They're all dead if we don't wake them up. Like they just can't see it. They want to punish us for telling the government. You know, you know, you can think of us what you like. I don't care. We're the ones that can see eternal life. We're the ones that are trying to see your soul. <laughs> well, we're getting rid of time and money. People don't gotta like it. Time is a spiral, not a square. They got your brain moving from a block to a block to a block. Like if you look at a calendar, a yearly calendar, it's 12 squares made up of 30 and 31 blocks of weeks. So you, you just keep going through the weekdays because you're in a daze and you keep getting weaker until you just get old and you're so weak you die. Then you go to a box six feet under. And your consciousness is moving from a block to a block at midnight, 11.59, 12 o'clock. The counter moves from day one to day two to day three, but nothing's changed around you. Time is spiraling. It's the sun spiraling in for six months, the sun spiraling out for six months. They're counting a spiral rotation of the sun and putting it in a block. Oh, Jesus like freaks they have squared this reality. These Jesus, freak, these Jesus freaks, these Jesus freaks, Mike would never tell you that. These Jesus freaks got it all fucking backwards, man. They don't even know how this world operates half the time. Like you try to tell them something the truth, and they'll the fuck Christians. You. The Christians have been brainwashed by a satanic cult, and they don't have to like it. Jesus never existed as a living man in the flesh, and that's gonna piss the Christians off, and that's fine. That's good. Get mad. I don't give a fuck. At least it shows you have some fucking emotions to react to something like your savior never existed. Everything they told you about Jesus Christ was a lie. Jesus is the son of God. And until the Christians can comprehend that the yellow, white, yellow sun above their head is this conscious entity known as Jesus. When they say Jesus spoke to you, it's because the light is a carrier wave of information and it's resonating to your pineal gland. But you have to have your chakras activated to be able to read the light codes that are coming from. You have to speak your intention to the sun. It's, it's listening. Everything you think, say, and do is sending out a wave into the ether. It's the fifth element, the conscious the elements. Like the air is alive, the water is alive, the earth is alive. This is shit fire that is alive, teach the you in school. is alive. Everything will, anywhere you go, you go in school, you go to church, they're not gonna tell you this. They're not gonna teach you this. This is why everybody's gonna tell us to shut up. This is why everybody's gonna tell us not to make videos. This is why everybody's gonna down us because they've been trained they've been assumed been trained for that position to shut us down because this is what their religion indoctrinated them into these beliefs and lies 
in this system. Go look at your fucking yep. graveyards. You know, it's your book of the dead. Go watch the fucking NASA bullshit landing on Mars. It's all fake. It's filmed in Greenland. It's filmed on this earth. They're not going to Mars. It's all fucking bullshit. Everything NASA gave you is a lie. The very word NASA means to deceive. Definition of NASA, yeah. You've been yep. deceived by a fucking parasite. Everything they tell you. The church is a lie. Space is a lie. It's all lies. They, you know, get mad. Go watch your stupid Minecraft videos and bullshit space videos, transgender makeup videos. It's all worthless shit that's gonna lead you to your grave. You need to get the blood over intent for truth immediately before we're completely genocided off of your internet. All, all I've ever known is genocide. You murdered my soul family in our past lives, and now we're back in the flesh. Your fucking Bible told you we're coming, and we step into our place telling you we're the 144,000, and then you ignore us. Deny, oh, you can't beat 144,000. What makes you special? Well, we can see the Holy Grail is real. We can see that you've been lied to, and despite the target attacks, we're still trying to show you how you can join us in the book of life because we're not selfless. We're trying to save those people selfless, around us from right. being censored, not making it very easy. Mm -hmm. We can call us a cult. We're not taking your money for blood over intent. You can't donate. You can't buy your way into heaven. Living full wants your money. We're trying to end the virus of money. We're trying to show you how filthy sick you are, that your whole definition of success to save enough money for retirement so you can lay down and die comfortably is a failure. You have no success until you join us in the book of life, and that requires blood atonement. You need to pay attention. But they can't do that. All they got is TikTok. The longest they can hold a stream of thought is 60 seconds. They can't count past 31. They have no idea where they are. Where do you think you are? You were birthed into this world from between your mother's legs, covered in blood and water. Where the fuck do you think you are? Wherever the North fucking... America? Are you standing in California? Are you on the fucking East Coast? Are you in New York City? Are you what fucking military religion are you connected to? You don't even know where you are. The, you're inside of a firmament. You're in your mother's womb. You call it Earth. You can call it whatever you want. Name it America. Name it Canada. Name it Mexico. Name it Africa. Name it whatever the fuck you <laughs> want. You're inside a living, conscious realm. There's all that's to it. And there's a hole at the center. There's living waters. You know, it's your birthright to get here. It's your fucking birthright. And you want to deny your birthright? You want to forfeit your birthright for some filthy, worthless paper backed by your own stupidity. And you're going to condemn your entire family to death. Your mother, your father, your husband, your wife, your brother, your sister, your son, your daughter are all going to die. You're already in the book of death and nobody can see it except us. Uh, and we're telling you for free, I don't want your money. I want you to put your blood up beside ours so you can claim your own place in the book of life before it fills up and it's too late. Seriously, Serious, it's not a game. Lot. You're alive. It's one a matter of life and death. It's one drop of blood. You know, to stand with us. No more, you know, the real ones are stepping up. Like, just because somebody put their blood over and their, their intent doesn't mean they're Satan sealed elect. You're right. They have chosen. We have chosen to put our blood up. I chose to put my blood up to find the other living souls, to connect to something real so yeah. that we can live. Mm -hmm. And, you know, when we get to the to the Holy Grail, you know, that's when we will become the sealed elect. Unstoppable force, 144,000 living souls shouting from the rooftops the information they can see about how this reality works. That one side of a light hole is a black hole. That your thoughts are sending out an electrical shimmer and they are being collected by the white sun and this information goes through the hole at the center of the flat earth through the engine of creation and it is exchanged with the black hole sun beneath our feet which is like the well of dreams and it, and it returns the memory of the earth the matrix code which creates the physical side we're on 
One side's physical, the other side's etheric. Time moving forward, time moving in the other direction. That's right. And we're on the wrong side of the Earth plane, being yep. denied our, we need our to get birthright to the of side. drinking from the living waters of our own Mother Earth. So, you know, people should be really pissed off about this. I'm sorry if I'm yelling, it's just that hey, asking no, nice you're hasn't worked. Enough, man. You're doing good, dude. You have to, man. You I wish sometimes we could be a little more louder and angrier, you know, because it's like, I don't know what else is going to wake these people up. You know, sometimes I feel that, you know, sometimes you gotta, you gotta get pissy and pissed out, but just for the fact that people are being so fucking ignorant, you know? We've asked NICE, we're explaining this information for free, we put in hundreds, if not thousands of hours of research and studies and real academics connecting with each other, trying to find the missing information. Like, they don't give us any real maps of our world. All they give us is bullshit, pseudoscience, lies. So what's to be thankful about? Computer technology. I bet you if we all work together, everybody who hears these videos and gets involved in it, everybody works together, we're going to figure all this shit out. And we already are figuring out enough, you know, to, to work against this shit. Just like how we're working together and Microsoft Windows logo is showing you the center of the earth. The Microsoft logo is showing you the four islands at the center of the earth. Their logo is showing you the Garden of Eden. Right. It's on your start button and you need to start paying attention to what you're looking at. It's on your start button. You need to start connecting to truth. You need to start putting your blood over your intent, as Satan said. It needs to be done literally daily. So I put up blood just about every day. There's only a day or two that goes by because so much is going on that I don't have time to, to put up a drop of blood. But I put up blood just about every day in my reality. Put it on things of you know <clears throat> value to me. And it's not a bad thing, because like I said, you know, people act like we're here just bloodletting and letting fucking slice in ourselves and cutting ourselves and we're gonna get MRSA, we're gonna get staph infection, they're saying. It's like, dude, you people are crazy, man. They don't understand the power of their blood. Everything they were taught about blood is the reverse of truth. All you've ever learned is horror films and, you know, aggression and violence. It's always guns and knives and people being stalked and just crazy scenarios and people bleeding and for, for, you know, like evil blood magic where, the, where they're spilling the blood of other people, which is what they're doing when they murder yep. your children and drink the adrenochrome out of their blood. They need to torture them first to excrete the adrenaline out of the gland in their brains. So they torture them so that it, the fear squishes it out of your mind into your bloodstream yeah, then I hear they that. murder them yeah, then I hear they they, drink their blood. yeah I hear they get the child in so much fear and then they get them to that climax at the height of fear and then that's when they kill them and drink the blood that's right because they're sick they're using the adrenaline of the blood of children to reverse aging rather than drinking yeah, they know the it. naturally found blood and water at the center of the flat earth Mother Earth's holy It's like, look at all these people, too. All they're staying, they're beating age now. You know, like all these celebrities and shit. They've been doing it for years, but it's like, you know. Maybe they're cut off. Maybe enough people within the military and the white hat movement has actually cut them off from this. And that's what it seems to be like, too, kind of, you know. Like, it's they've been removed from it now, and it, they're really freaking out about it now because they've already chose this path, and now it's like they're fucked because now... They have nothing to feed it with now, and they already chose that, you know, to, to go down that path. Yeah. But the good. Divine intervention is Because it's just like this here, bro. We it's are it's just like blood over intent. It's like as soon as Mark opened the book of life and we put our blood up, that's when that parasite died off. And it's like the same shit. All these parasites around us are fucking dying off because they ain't got no more blood to leech off of. They can't leech off all of our blood anymore. Let them pay you know, yeah. yeah, the Christians have been so badly brainwashed. I mean, the Christian religion is one of the biggest problems in this it world. It is. The Christian religion is just insane. It's that 
They're probably gonna end up trying to kill some of us because they're fucking the most hateful ones. They're the most fucking vile ones. They're vile. All these people that say they're they, fucking they into have. Jesus and the Bible, they're crazy. They're like almost like mad people. Like they get, they fight so much, they get so much anger in them, you know? And it's like, motherfucker, it's because you've been lying to your whole life. No wonder I'd be pissed off yeah, too. They're delusional. He thinks that They've fucking, they think that, you know, moment. Jesus saved everybody. They think Jesus did this and these miracles and, oh my God, I prayed and this person got out of this because I prayed for him and this and that it's like dude you're praying you're praying on them because it tells you when you pray you're praying on somebody they're fucking telling you when you bow your head and pray it's going to the black hole sun all your intent is going into the black hole already so all your little prayers you think that are working they're going into the black hole where do you think's going on? You think Jesus the man's there waiting to hear your prayers and gonna answer them? You need to save yourself. Nobody's coming back to save you once you're dead. If you lose your body, you're fucked. It's your temple. And you need to get to the Holy Grail in the flesh. And while you, you must still have cleanse a body. your temple with your own blood. Otherwise, you're just going to be another cross in a graveyard, another dead entity, where they publish your capital letter name, that's proof of death, and then they loot your account, you're worth all this money, you are the cattle, birth bonded, sexed as male and female, and they're trading you on the stock market, all the way to your grave, you are the lamb being led to the slaughter, and the lamb's blood turns out to be your own blood, your blood is the most powerful substance in the universe. We've gone over this over and over and over again. And here we are still explaining the secrets of the universe to the lost souls. Everybody is legally dead by definition. They're literally lost at sea and they are trapped in hell. And we are the only ones that can even see this information. The 144,000 that have woken up to the truth of the flat earth reality and what's at the end of your compass needle. That's right, and it's, it's, it's going to come to a point where, you know, all of this is going to resonate because, you know, more people are catching on at least, you know, the right people, I feel, you know, or just let it resonate and hopefully they, they catch on because it is really a lot of shit to catch on to, but eventually it's not because... You know, you can just let this shit play over and over if you want. These videos we make, these messages we say, it's, you know, it would literally take you no time to catch on to what we're saying and what we're doing. It's, if we can do it, anybody can do it. Seriously. You need, you need to share this information with people. You know, share this information with those you claim you care about. Yeah, exactly, Towards Michael. Exactly. You just nailed it on the head. The people you claim you care about, you're going to share this. You are going to tell people this message. And, you know, sometimes I get very discouraged from sharing this message too sometimes because, you know, it's just like, what's the point? We put the message out there. Nobody fucking responds to it. Nobody says anything. But the point is, is we're planting a seed. And, you know, it just takes a, a certain amount of just tries, I guess, because I don't like Adam's talking anything about time anymore. I'm getting rid of time and money, so it's just, I don't live off time and money, but it's just the tries, you know? Everybody's intention is being recorded into the ether field 24 hours a day, whether you are mm -hmm. aware of it mm -hmm. or unaware of it. You're either consciously programming your reality or you are unconsciously programming your reality. There's and if no not, they're gonna, they're gonna the subconsciously reality. program it for them. Creator's law is no excuse. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they're just gonna subconsciously program it for all these people that don't realize it. It's all subconscious and it's on our subconscious minds daily. We don't even know it, but you know, it's like, look at, they put this shit in movies and TV shows and it's on your subconscious mind already. You know, it's like, you know. They've been hexed at their heart. The, yep. the square matrix hex, the, the magic that was done on them. They're already in a blood cult and you don't have to like it. You don't like our blood or intent. Too fucking bad. You're already in a blood cult and you don't even know it. They stole your blood at birth. Yep. The entire Vatican Christian religion is a satanic blood cult 
of death. The government is a satanic blood cult of death. They're the ones funding the militaries, putting the guns in the hands of children and sending them to the battlefield to kill each other over fake saviors that never existed. You got Allah fighting Jesus Christ. They're going to bomb your nation back to the Stone Age to install their Federal Reserve Bank in the name of their savior, asking God to bless America. Well, God's not going to bless America. You're right. God's not even a man. God is a woman. God is a name never meant to be spoken. <laughs> it's a female, feminine, one side right. white hole, the ma- uh, uh, black hole. We're on the masculine side, the flat earth point, the yellow sun. And we need, we need, you know, we should be traveling back and forth between both sides of these realms. Be it's our world. We're not asking you. We're informing you where you are. You are in our world. This is our world. And you don't have to like it. We don't even like it. We think it's a <laughs> shithole. Everyone's so filthy, fucking retarded. What's the like? I know. It's like, come on, man. Just a death cult. Everybody's trying to save enough money so they can die. What's to participate in? We're turning it into a competition so you can amass the most money before that's they die. And they think that's what's going to make them happy. You can have the most fucking money in the world and still not be happy. They're just going to keep fucking charging you anyway. The more money you you ain't with the elites, motherfucker. What makes you think you're gonna be on top? Keep you busy with the commerce language. Everything English, you do is, commerce-based language. is to feel their ass. You know, you're feeling their ass. You're feeling their fucking pocket the line. The because that's what the middle class is for. The middle class is to make it so that way the elites can just not do anything. The the middle class run everything because it's like. That's why we have a poorer class and a middle class. The poor classes keep it so the middle class don't want to be poor. So work enough, work your ass off hard enough just so you don't have to be poor, you know? Yeah, they got the equity so messed up in here. It's it's sick, man. It is. And it's it's like, enough to make you mad, but I, you know, you're not taking my eyes off the prize. I'm going to live forever. You know, we're going to have a party. We're going to have fun, man. We're going to laugh. We're going to dance. We're going to sing. We're going to enjoy life for the rest of infinity. That's right. So, you know, it might, might seem like we're angry and shouting. It's because everybody's in the book of dead and somebody needs to snap you out of the shell shock for that you're real. in. People need That's to get out of their bullshit. Things that you need to do. People need to get out of like their bullshit and get their fucking heads out of there and start living. They think they're alive you and living right now, here. but they don't realize that everybody is in the book of dead by default. They're in default. That's their name. The creator sees them as dead. In the eyes of this mythical force, everybody seems to know there's some kind of higher intelligence or something that created this realm. This creative force is watching you right now. And unless you're blood thick with us, and 144,000 living souls, our blood brothers and blood sisters, the creator sees you as dead. Because you're not speaking living words. Because every sound you're making is time, money, Jesus virus, the false religious doctrines. No one, no one's going to save you. All the religions, Buddha, Allah, Jesus, the, all of these... They're worshiping Satan and they don't even know it already. They're already worshiping Satan and the devil. Like the, these people are so sick, 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 man. The Pope, why would you follow anything the Pope's telling you? You know? These fucking people are so out of order and out of line that it's like they don't even fucking see it. Like they're gonna keep listening to the same bullshit they keep doing. They're gonna keep doing the same bullshit they keep doing. Whatever it is, whatever it may be, if they ain't gonna change they're anything gonna get the same result. to bring forth keep heaven on the earth. Same same thing you're going to get the same result and that's that's death if you keep sealing your name to the book of death well that's what you're going to get because mm-hmm. you know this this computer that we live in called earth the air the earth the fire the water the elements that you right. live in are programmable and you have people and here screaming it out it's not just one person it's not just two it's thousands of motherfuckers screaming in your fucking face motherfucker wake up it's, I mean, what more do you fucking need? Do we gotta join together for you motherfuckers to wake up and see that we're all here, we're waking up, we're activating? Yeah, the longer they suppress our message, the crazier it's gonna get. We could have already been drinking from the living waters. Heaven on Earth already could be here. 
People are just going to die of their own fucking stupidity because they're going to sit back. Well, I'm not going to do that because then somebody's going to think I'm fucking crazy. Somebody's going to think I'm fucking this and that. Motherfucker, nobody gives a fuck. Step up once and fucking take your divinity back. And you're going to realize you're going to get all your fucking power back that they tried to steal from you. And they want to argue and call us a cult and say all these things. But then we invite them to come in here and they don't even want to spend no. Ten minutes. But they want to go and subscribe and watch all our videos and try to take us down and annoy us and try to fucking tell us, well, hey, man, why don't you go get some of your holy water and see if that'll work. None of this shit's going to work. You can think that it's going to change the fact of blood over intent. You can't put up enough blood. Mark already spilt it over the name and captured the element. So good luck, buddy. Anybody want to go try to contest Mark Brown? It's been up for seven years. Seven years his fucking channel's been up and not one person's came out and contested it. He's still up running in Florida. Nobody can stop it. And if you're just now getting aware of him, it, you're, it's because your ass has been asleep at the wheel the whole time, motherfucker. It wasn't until we pointed out videos you didn't even hear this message. No doubt. The information was already given. These motherfuckers are so blind and sick. They think they know everything. They, don't, they can't even fucking wipe, wipe their own ass and know where they're at or where the fuck's going on. They, they have no fucking clue, man. They have no clue unless we tell them, literally. They're going to come to our channel to find the information out. They're going to try to want to know what we're saying. They're going to want to know what we're doing. What, what the fuck? Because they're all little pussies, like Mark Brown said. They ain't going to do nothing. They're going to wait for us to do it. If we got to bring heaven here, we will. There's no stopping us. I mean, we'll still try and have compassion in our hearts to explain to people that are really actually wanting to understand this reality. We'll still try and take time. Oh, you to will. You will. Yes, you will. You will understand it because we're getting gifts. And we're getting gifts, and we're getting confirmations every day. You know, and it's like more people are coming in the chats, more people are connecting, more people are sharing information, and it's like holy shit, man! It's like we're fucking gaining all kinds of. A shit that we can't even imagine it's like fuck and it's just fueling us every every time or every chance we get to just get it connect with one another you know it's like holy fuck like we're just growing with this information that just nobody can can even contest to or even try to even come in and talk to us about like if they think they have all these answers and they think they know what's right then why are they hiding their intentions why aren't they making videos why aren't they pointing shit out if you're fucking Jesus character, you think that's here to save just you, motherfucker, because you're a selfish individual prick, and you can't see that you're so selfish and stuck in the land of the dead that it's sickening. You can't unite for a common cause of your own survival, because it might be bad for your health, because you're so selfish and sick, and you don't see it that, you know, the common cause of survival is literally the proper application is to be selfless. And, and people can't see it that, you know, it, it's literally taking, getting rid of your ego and stop just thinking of your fucking self 24 seven and thinking that you're just going to be saved because it's all about you, 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 you. It's no motherfucker. It's you are to be selfless and you are to show this and fly these colors clearly and show your creator, show everyone, tell everyone I want to be selfless. That's exactly right. But, you know, they would never speak those words and they would never say those things and they would never talk about it because they don't want to let heaven in, you know? It's like they sit here and say, yeah, Dan, you talk about heaven here, you're inviting heaven in your realm. It's like, no, I'm inviting heaven in my realm. I attach to heaven, motherfucker. I'm the one telling you I'm here telling you you're in hell. And you need to wake up and get out of it. Most of them aren't going to make it. At this point, it looks like the majority of them are just going to meet the angel of death because they didn't do anything they ignored our information and they think where they, they're going is going to be sealed it is going to be fucking sealed into the saturn moon they matrix they don't, have, they don't have a drop of blood to show their creator proof of life they're not selfless they have no proof of life and it is what it is don't say we didn't tell you don't say we didn't explain the information as clearly as we possibly could like how many hours have we been chatting in here piecing together the puzzle I don't even want to, you know, it's just, it's the fact is, is we're, we're just steady. It's steady. We're steady flow of information, steady flow. It's like a well, you need some life. You want to come to it, come to it. It's like, we got the living well 
going you know it's like the living waters are flowing right here through us like you motherfuckers want to get some life and get a taste here it is like yeah. come get a taste of some living waters in your life like people speak too much death into their reality and their existence they don't even see it once you see it you're gonna stop inviting this shit into your realm and it's gonna be amazing and you're gonna realize you can live motherfucker yeah eternal life is your birthright it is your birthright to get to the holy grail and drink from the living waters Fucking awesome, dude. Absolutely. And, you know, it's just... Take a sip. What you waiting on? Right. Oh, you're thirsty. What are you motherfuckers waiting on? Because I'm yeah, telling you, you're not, not, you're you're not waiting, missing out. You're it's that we're no, the first I'm generation. I'm, I'm speaking in general, man. To, to the yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, exactly. Yeah, we're not we're not waiting. What, what are they waiting for? For Mark Braun to make enough videos? If he doesn't make videos, we're all dead. If we don't step into our position, we're all dead. Mark Braun doesn't even need 144,000. It's us that needs each other. Well, I think we have a nice group going here, and with all the people that are in here, and even Lindsay's in here now every day supporting us, and it, it seems like we're all headed in the right direction, Michael, and we're doing the right thing, and you know, people don't well, see that, and that's what I'm trying to point out. Like, there's some really serious shit going on around us, and I don't know how people don't see it and don't and grasp this yet like nobody's even fucking questioned like you know it's like nobody's even reached out and said a fucking thing because all this shit's going right underneath it's their fucking noses it's like dude the fucking truth is right here underneath your fucking nose and you can smell it channels of their social media is complete mindless garbage mindless Craft, video games just useless, memes useless crap. people crying about their fucking problems people bitching people here wanting information about this and that it's just useless garbage all of it and everybody's just taking part in it. I don't even care. So you're gonna watch this videos, yeah, watch our videos. We're gonna point out the truth to you, and you're gonna fucking see it too, for the way it is. And you're yeah. gonna you're gonna break free from the bullshit. And you're gonna be a lot happier. I'm telling you. It's you know all this yeah, shit's designed by reason. If you're miserable yeah, right now, if you're fucking feeling hopeless right now, it's because you're living in hell and you don't see it. And we're here telling you, you know, you can break free from these chains, literally. We're not pissed. Yeah, there's nowhere to run. There's nowhere to hide. You're inside of a firmament. Where are you gonna go? You can't hide from this. You can't escape us. You're not as woke as you even, think you are if you're not into blood this. over intent. Because where else are you gonna get your eternal life, motherfucker? Where else are you gonna be able to get heaven? Where else are you gonna get to heaven? You ain't get nowhere without doing your blood sacrifice atonement, which you were told from your creator. Yeah. This information to flow it needs to be allowed to get through to people so we don't have to scream and shout and repeat the same message over and over and over but that's what they wanted oh yeah and that's what they, now that's what they've got but this is what this they is get what happened. yeah yeah you stab satan in the back and and backstab the 144,000. i guess this is what you get what else is there? We need to get to the Holy Grail. Yeah, and, and like Ma like you said, Michael, it's it's not fair to us if we have to connect. And if Mark said that's you know what we need to do, which we do, but that's why we all need to intensify and intensify our awareness to connect because it's that serious, you know. But in a sense, it's not fair yeah. either because they make our limits like pretty much hard. But now look at us, you know, we're starting to figure it out. Motherfuckers are starting to come together every day, coming in the room, the chat rooms are getting so big, we're making new chat rooms, like, we can only fit so many people, it's like, we're just gonna keep filling yeah. it up, filling it up, like it's a cup, filling it up, you know, we're filling the cup up, and pretty soon, that cup's gonna be full, and it's gonna be loaded, and we're gonna be ready to assume our positions, because everybody's staying in line with what they're supposed to be doing, it's to connect and to be selfless. This is the exodus that your Bible speaks of. We are the exodus. And soon we're leaving. And I don't know who you're going to ask for information once the 144,000 living souls are gone. Mm -hmm. At that point, their fates are probably sealed to the book of death. At least, like you said, Michael, I can't live with it on my conscience. Like, but, like if I'm going to live forever and other people are just going to die, like I can't live on my conscience and try to wake people up. At least they're, these people are lucky I'm here spreading this message out in front of them and telling them this shit, this vital shit. It's like, this is monumental information. 
Where else are you we're gonna find? To save as many souls as we can. It's no soul left behind. That's and, one of the core We work overtime into this shit, you know? We don't call us a Fuck. cult when the mission statement is no soul left behind. Even the bankers, the politicians, like when we're trying to save as many souls as we can. It's no soul left behind. So don't call us a cult when we're here giving you this information for free, putting our entire life's equity into heaven on earth. And it won't cost you anything other than a drop of your spiritual currency. But it's pretty clear that most people don't even have that. All they have is worthless paper money. A false concept of success. Yeah, it's not even a real Just currency. A a failure. Not even a real currency, man. Your only real true currency is your blood. That's the only thing saving you. That's the only thing getting you out of here. It's the only thing that's... It was the king's highest source of his own magic you know it's your blood and it's used for good intentions and it's all used for the same intent is to bring forth heaven on earth for everybody i mean these people are so blind and sick and dumb and crossed and bent and confused it's like i don't understand it man if like once you look into it you're gonna see this world isn't what you think it is and then you're not gonna be calling us the crazy ones anymore you're gonna be looking at everybody else like we are like holy fuck how are they just sick? We're wishing you had help support us sooner instead of making our lives more hell for trying to bring forth heaven. Attacking us and working in circles around us to deplete our resources, to isolate us, to censor us. Basically, it's digital genocide. Yeah, that's all these fucking YouTube people should, are worried about. They think YouTube bit, should be turned. These we people think Bitcoin is going to save them. They think, we, yeah, they all think it's bullshit. These corporations and take their assets and leave them with the nothing. This is what we should do by legal law for what they have done, the digital genocide. We should sue them and take all their assets and leave them with nothing. But we're not even doing that. We're not even coming after you legally. We're just gonna let you seal your fate in the book of death by your own your own choice. Legal. Don't say we didn't tell you to join us in blood. And now that's, blood, blood over now blood. that's legally. Blood. That's legally. <laughs> Thrown in jail. <laughs> oh, right. Legally, they should be, they but should legally, be we'll death. just let them do what they're doing because they're just legally writing their names in the book of death. Legally, by definition, treason. A crime punishable by death. You know, and by I've been hearing all these people say, "Well, we're into death. these people into Bitcoin recently are so crazy into that shit. Like they think Bitcoin's gonna save everything and everybody and everyone. And it's like, dude, you people are so lost in your Bitcoin currency bullshit, your fucking fiat currency but money. These people are so trapped into money and time. It's just it's the virus. It's sickening. That so you motherfuckers can have all the fucking money in the world. It ain't bringing heaven, you assholes." fucking talking about your money nobody wants to hear it talking all the about equity in this world needs to be applied if to you got all that fucking money why aren't you bringing forth heaven asshole why don't you bring it for everybody because uh, all i can see is you're a bunch of filthy dead necrophiliacs lost at sea officially we're leaving in a nice new ship to heaven hurry you know you can't buy your way into heaven with bitcoin God doesn't nice accept shiny Visa. New ship. <laughs> you know, I, what's on? What's your money called? Dead presidents. Why? Because they're dead. They died. Where are they? These people aren't even. They're gone. It's all dead in the land of the dead. It's where everybody is. You're literally in the book of death, and that should shake you to your core. It really should. Because they're going to wait until they're dead to find all this out. Why wait till dead when you're fucking finding out right now in the flesh while you have blood pumping through your fucking veins while you're alive? Don't wait till you're dead to use your blood because it's not going to work. You're going to be dead and they're going to drain your blood from you as soon as you die. Yeah. They're not even going to find that out because once they're dead, they're just dead. They're gone. No their more memories blood. memories will be erased. They will be erased. That's right. It won't even matter to them. They'll just be. They won't find anything out. They'll just be dead. That's what death is. It's just. That's why it's important we make videos and push them out because we're trying not to fucking let that happen to where people wait till it's fucking too late to where they don't have any currency anymore in them to show their creator they were a living being while you're trapped in the land of the dead. Like hello, you got your fucking. You're just while you're alive. 
You need to get to the Holy Grail in the flesh before you die. This is something you have to do while you're still alive. And attach yourself to the Holy Grail. Trust me, you're going to be infused with fucking power you've never imagined. You're just going to be sucked right in to your eternal life. Yeah, it's amazing that we figured this out. We're the first generation to figure this out since they stole the Holy Grail from us all these years ago when they flooded the earth and cut down the tree of life and forced us into the reincarnation matrix. We're the first generation to figure this out. Yeah, and we're I mean, seven. We're finally seven generations up. removed now from from all this shit from this hex. We're seven generations finally removed, so we can finally go back to the garden now. It's amazing. Uh, really is. So it's beyond beyond biblical. And it's we're certain, retiring the Bible. Beyond when we're biblical. done the Bible, leaving the church, and we might keep a copy or two and put it in a museum just to remember bullshit we all had to live through and the indoctrination the whole, the whole bible is an inverted truth if you can't see that you've been lied to we don't want your time for- we don't want your money we don't want none of these people's filthy advice they just- sit in the pew because they stink like shit they're just <laughs> cattle being herded to their grave well the preacher stands up there and lies he can say anything and make it sound like a you know, wonderful story. Oh, I drove to the church today and a butterfly landed on the hood of my car. And I took that as a sign that the Lord Jesus loves butterflies. That's my it's testimony. That's the fruits to my testimony. A butterfly landed on my car. Oh, my God. Jesus is amazing. He's amazing, isn't he? Hallelujah. Yeah, they just, they, hallelujah. They, just, they get you going on this, this trip. And you're like, yeah, yeah. Behind that kind of energy, like this guy's got something good to say. You know, praise Jesus. Yeah. Jesus never exists. And they're all hiding their intentions, every one of them. They're all filthy. Every one of them. I guarantee you, one of them. They all hide their intent, every one of them. They're scrambling, looking in their Bibles for verses. They're trying to find anything to keep hiding their intentions. They're so filthy sick that they know they're lying, that they're going to lead their people to their grave while they rob them I know they get so the they don't even realize it like they they're, they're going to sit so firm in their belief that Jesus is going to save them when they're dead when they a dead man's going to save them when they're dead okay good luck buddy good luck it's completely insane they're so delusional it's it's scary we don't want your money we don't want your advice we want you to join us before you expire and die of your own stupidity. Wake up! Yeah, join us in the book of life today. Show your creator proof of life. Now is a great time. Up.